In November 1992, paleontologists from the San Diego Natural History Museum were conducting routine monitoring of a construction site on State Route 54 here in San Diego, when field paleontologist Richard Cerruti spotted several fossil bones and portions of a tusk. It took 22 years to piece the story of these fossils together, and the picture it reveals just might change everything. As Cerruti explored the site with Dr. Tom Demeray, they found fragments of distinctive molars showing that they had discovered the bones of a mastodon. But something was puzzling. Many of the bones were strangely fractured or missing entirely, and there were several large stones that seemed out of place in the surrounding fine-grained sediments. To Richard, this was starting to look not like a paleontological site or a fossil site, but instead like an archeological site, like the preserved evidence of human activity. As work on the site continued, questions about its age remained unanswered. At the time, the oldest evidence of humans living in North America came from sites that are around 14,000 years old. But mounting evidence suggested this site was much older possibly dating to long before any humans were thought to have arrived on the continent. The first step to solving this riddle was to confirm that the site was, in fact, an archaeological site. Dr. Steve Holin had the expertise to help. Using the femur bones of recently deceased elephants, Holin had conducted two separate experiments in which he demonstrated that a stone used as a hammer causes fresh limb bones to fracture in a distinctive way. No known geological process or animal scavenging produces the same fractures in bones. In 2008, when Holin first traveled to San Diego to study these specimens, he confirmed the same breakage patterns. Furthermore, the San Diego site had five large rocks that could have been used to produce the breakage. The broken bones were concentrated in two separate clusters, each around one rock. The other large rocks lay nearby. Could these have been used as tools? To help answer this question, the team consulted Dr. Richard Fulliger, an expert in use wear features on stone tools. Richard compared the impact and wear marks on the stones found at the San Diego site with other stone tools. Sure enough, the large stones showed the same abrasions, fractures, and scars that only occur on stones used as hammer stones and anvils. No known geological process produces the same patterns of wear a clear picture was starting to emerge of two distinct areas where early humans were using rocks to break bones and teeth. But couldn't a flood or other event have rearranged the rocks and bones? Holin, who has studied sites where this happened, says no. At other sites, gravity sorted bones by density and size. This wasn't the case here, where everything from small molar fragments to large rocks were distributed, unsorted, around the site. The researchers were unanimous. They had uncovered an archeological site containing portions of an extinct mastodon. But a critical question still remained unanswered. How old was the site? In 2011, almost two decades after the mastodon's discovery, advances in technology provided the answer the team was looking for. Tom Demeray sent several of the mastodon bones to Jim Pacey's who used state-of-the-art radiometric dating methods to determine their age. The mastodon bones, which were still fresh when broken with stone tools, were around 130,000 years old. What does this mean? It means that early humans were living in North America at least 115,000 years earlier than previously thought. This site's discovery reframes our understanding of when humans first arrived on this continent. It also raises as many questions as it answers. Who were the humans at work at this site and how did they reach North America? Were they an early failed attempt to colonize a new part of the world? Where are the other sites that show human activity in North America that are as old as this one? Where else should scientists look for evidence? Asking questions is at the heart of scientific discovery. Science is always seeking the best explanation that fits the evidence when new information is uncovered, no matter what we thought was true before. Fossils tell stories. This is not the end of this story, but simply the beginning.